God bless you. Thank you for joining on this video. These are three tips, three steps on getting closer to God. Number one is want. By you clicking this video, you already want to know who God is. You already want to get closer to Him. You already want to experience His touch. What do you do when you want something? You look for it. You find it. You research it. And then finally, you decide if you want to keep it, if it's something that you want to do, if it's something that you want to stick to yourself. So that's what you do first. You want the presence of God. And want is such a key, important level that you need to have and always keep because we must want to find God even when we don't want to. It's in those moments where God sees our sacrifice. In Matthew 16, 24, it says, If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross, and follow me. Do you think, let me ask you this, do you think Jesus in that moment wanted to take up his cross? Do you think Jesus in that moment, that's why Jesus said, let this cup pass from me. He didn't want to die. He didn't want to be sacrificed, but he still did it because of the, of the love that he had for the Father, the love of, that he had for you and for me. Now, we must show God that same want, to want to look for him, even when we don't want to. And step two is death to self. We must be willing to put away the desires of the flesh. We must put away those distractions, everything that's keeping us away from God. Because if you think about it, there is so much time in a day that we could have. We think that we're busy, but there is so much time in a day that we can have to seek the presence of God, to want to get to know him. Instead of going on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, whatever it may be, you could be using that to read the Bible. You could be using that to pray, to seek God. And that's what he wants from you. He wants you to be able to take some time off to just to, just to seek him. You need to dedicate that time to him. In James 4, 8, it says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. So that's basically telling me that we must initiate the first step. We must be willing to give up whatever it is to get closer to God. It doesn't say that God's going to, God's gets closer to you and then you get close to him no it says that we must draw closer to God so what are you doing that's pushing you away from God what are you doing that you know in your heart that it's poison to you it's poison for you you must be willing to give that up and look for God be willing to put yourself to death that's where the Bible says to take up our cross we must be willing to do that and number three we must be willing to accept the Father's love. God still has that same fire in his eye from when he first met you. God still has that same love for you from when you first met him. Many times we come back to God after a first love that we had that was so intense and that we didn't want to give it up. But God still has that fire in his eye for you. He's willing to do whatever. He's willing to go back to you and leave the 99 behind. But you have to accept his love and realize that he is there for you. You have to accept his love and realize that he is the one for you. It doesn't matter what you've been through. It doesn't matter what you've gone through. It doesn't matter how many times you've messed up, how many times that you've tripped, you stumble. God still loves you and he has that perfect love for you. And he wants to give you that love. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this helped you, I want you to leave a like, subscribe, and comment for more. God bless you. Thank you for watching.